Number 62. In one area of Australia, the cattle did not thrive despite the presence of suitable forage. An investigation showed the cause to be the absence of sufficient cobalt in the soil. Cobalt forms cations in two oxidation states, CO2 plus and CO3 plus. Write the electronic structure of the two cations. Okay, so all we got to do is write the electronic structure. Same thing as electron configuration. That's it. We've done this plenty of times before, right? We're on number 62. So if you guys haven't done an electron configuration by now, and if you're just joining us first, thank you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Christina. But you can go back and check out all the other questions that we did with electron configuration to get a more in-depth review. This one will be kind of like the quick inversion. So electron configuration with cations. Remember, cation is the positive charge. That means that you just lost electrons. When we take um, electron configuration of ions, which are charged atoms, the first thing you want to do is write the electron configuration, I'll just put EC for short, electron configuration for regular atom. So basically without the charge, and then you adjust for the charge. So for right now, I don't even care that cobalt has a plus two or a plus three charge. I'm going to write the electron configuration pretending that there was no charge at all. So let's get started. Now there's two of them, so I'll put CO2 plus and then I'll put CO3 uh, plus down here. I'll do one and then I'll literally just copy and paste to the other one. So remember your grouping. This yellow group is where your S subshells are with the S electrons. This is where your Ds are. Your D subshell electrons are located. And this is where your P electron subshells are located. And this is where your Fs are. So if you need to pause the video and just write that down, if you didn't have it already, go for it. I'll be here when you get back. Okay, so remember, we always have to start at 1 which is hydrogen, and we have to get to the element in question, which is cobalt. Cobalt is number 27. So you got to follow the atomic number, which are the whole numbers, until you get to number 27. So we got to start with 1s, 2, and remember, I'm going to put over here, that the s's always start with 1, so the first group, right, is 1s. The p's start with 2, so the first grouping over here would be 2p. The d's, the first grouping would be 3d. The d's start with 3, and I'll put it over here so that I don't block scandium. And then the f's start with 4, so this would be 4f. Okay, so 1s2, 2, because I had to pass both boxes, hydrogen and helium, and remember that helium should be here. It's part of the S um, subshells. It's not over here, so you could cross that off when you're doing electron configuration. Now I'm down to number 3. That's the 2S, so 2S. I have to pass both boxes because i got to get to number 20, so, so that's 2. Moving on, we're now over here because that's 5, so that's 2P. I have to gain all of these boxes, so if you count them, that's 6. Then I'm over here, so that's number 11. That's part of the 3S. I have to pass both boxes, so that's 3S2. Now I'm over here, right? That's 3P. And I have to pass all the boxes, so that's 3P6. And now... I'm down over here, 4s, I got to pass all of them, so 4s, you know what, let me erase this, just so that I have a little bit of room, I want to put the whole thing, so 4s, 2, and then finally, we now enter the 3d realm, and I need to collect all the boxes until I get to cobalt, so how many boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so it would be 3d, 7, and that's without taking into consideration the charges. So what you just wrote up top will be going down here, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and 3d7. Now, the first part is done. You pretend that there's no charge. Then you adjust. 
Now, how do you take away electrons? In this case, we have to take away because it's a plus charge. Plus two means that we took away or lost two electrons. We became more positive. In this one, a plus three means that I lost three electrons. And how do you, you lose electrons? You always lose them from the last shell. And remember, the shell is always the N number. It's always the big number in the front. And you will always lose it from the greatest, you will always lose it from the greatest shell. So in this case, if I scanned all this, what's the biggest number for the shells? It would be a four, right? So it's one, two, three, but four is the greatest number. So how many electrons are here in the fourth shell? There's two electrons here. So this would get completely lost. And that's all that you have to lose for plus two. You only need to lose two electrons. So you just lose the two electrons in the two, in the 4s2 subshell, right? The 4s subshell. So if you just had to rewrite this, cobalt 2 plus would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 is now gone, and then it's 3d7. That's your answer for the 2 plus. Now you just got to do the same thing for the cobalt 3 plus. Well, you still got to lose from the greatest shell. In this case, it's number four. And that's two electrons, right? The two over here. So that gets kiboshed. But you need to lose a total of three. So how many more do you have to lose? You got to lose one more because you only lost two in the 4s. So now you start chipping away from the Ds, the last subshell that you wrote. So this seven would turn into a six because you got to lose one more. That's the final electron structure or electron configuration for cobalt three plus. So cobalt three plus would be one S two, two S two, two P six, three S two, three P six. Forget about the four S that those electrons were lost. And now it's three D six and box that answer off. That's that answer. So pretty easy. Those are the two answers that they're looking for. You just had to write them for both cations. And yeah, that's that. So everybody, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. I will comment back. I promise. <laughs> um, thank you for coming here for your help with the OpenStack textbooks. Let all your classmates know. If you want, let your teacher or professor know. That would be cool. Just to kind of get the word out there. And I'll see you guys all in the next question. Thanks so much. See you later.